Roll your stealth. Or guard. Yeah, for people who are being stealthy. Uh, against their passive perception, so. Well, there's not much wiggle room between... Well, I don't know. What's the numbers between, that fall between 8 and 8? <laughs> Oof. Yeah. So you're a yep. rogue, right? Yep. Okay, then. Uh, you see the following three figures. Are you wearing heavy armor, Kicks? Come out yeah, from yeah, under, yeah. Under, under, under this bush. So I'd be at disadvantage even, I believe, which means... <laughs> which means, technically, Gar was the best at height. Yeah. And they come out, and they're sort of looking like... <laughs> Are they you on see the... Them. Oh, they're on the map. Sorry, I didn't see them down there. Yeah, they're on the map. Uh, and they are sort of they're looking in your general direction and pointing and sort of discussing. And one of them... Let me see. Uh, yes. Uh, need to figure out a way to... to Start indicate running in to, this direction, yeah. So you need to figure out a way to indicate to people who can't understand you that you need 10 minutes before you can talk to them. Yeah, one starts running in this direction. The universal sign of maybe like a a sundial, <laughs> and just like, yeah, they'll make it. You know, uh, kicks in demonstration of his failure of stealth when he's spotted. Uh, will look over them and wave, drawing their attention. <laughs> he's like, ah, well, they already like step forward a little bit. And they already see us. That's why they're running. Yeah, one of them running to this direction. The uh, these two, well, they're gonna roll initiative. Okay. Uh, in which case, we probably also ought to. Oh, here's something the Tin Man over there comes to our rescue. Gobble. Oh. All right. I, I don't know if it cast a spell. Don't know if it matters to anything, but you know, the turn tracker's not up. Oh, yeah, it does actually matter. Yeah, there you go. Um, well, I just meant just in case, like an old uh, initiative was still on there, because it might screw things up. Let me see. Uh, yeah, that's an old initiative. No, actually, that's a current initiative. Yes. Yep. No, I see it now. Uh, so there's two goblins here. I'm trying to get. Ah, there we are. Uh, they're gonna roll. They go in 19. So, yeah, these gobbles are pretty quick. They're fast. Yeah. Nope, that's not the way to do it. That's the way to do it. So, they have short bows. They point in at your dinner direction. They're going to pull back. Okay. And uh, shoot. So, they're going to shoot the kicks. Kicks was the closest target. Yeah, let's yeah, trying to cast a spell. Uh, so, two short bow attacks at kicks. Okay. 18. Yeah. The, One the of them arrow. Just hit my scale mail and just bonk. So it's your turn, Kicks. All right. Uh, well, they are being aggressive while we're standing back. So I will instead have to go, yes, heroics time. I will save you, my friends. And I will literally start moving and charging up. Um, okay. Is there a charge in 5th edition? I always keep forgetting how it functions. I think it's a full round, isn't it? Yeah, you basically move your full movement in a, in a straight line, and at the end of that, if, the, if you reach the target, you can attack. Oh, no double movement then, right? In which no. case, I can't engage them this turn. Okay, let's do... Wait, let's... Can't you sacrifice your action action for a move action in uh, 5e? Uh, uh, good question. Pretty sure that's a thing. Okay. Yeah, I think it's uh, you taking a dash action as yeah, your action. Yeah. Charge attack, 5e. Well, no, I'm not, yeah. yeah, but I think uh, taking a you, dash and a movement will allow you to move twice, but charge, I think, is an actual attack and movement. Yeah. You must move at least 10 feet during the charge. Your entire charge, both, both your allotted movement and the movement taken as part of the charge action, must be in a straight line with no curving to the left or right unless a feet, class feature spell allows you to do so. You may not charge over difficult terrain. Uh, is that the charger feet, or is there a separate one? I believe that's the, the feet. No, yeah, because the feet rolling. charger is the one that lets you actually yeah. take the charger thing. In, in which case, yeah. I don't believe that I can actually charge. I can just rush in there. 
Yeah, you can do do double movement, but that's about it. Okay. Uh, yeah. I will. Oh, hello, fellows. <laughs> and I'm there. That's uh, all. Gar. You see Kix running at the goblins. And Kix, by the way, you see uh, 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 two other uh, gobbles down here. Uh, the one that, that rushed, and then another one. That's, so basically, they're taking shade under this tree, so staying away from the weak stun, and he's going to appear. And they're kind of, and they're discussing something like, and as you move in to attack, they they point, uh, you know, the one that ran there looks back at you and goes like, ah! but since you don't know Goblin, you have no idea what they're talking about. So, Gar. Uh, and Galvin, save the kids! Get them out of here quick, they're adventurers! Uh, yeah, I'm going to acid splash these two, because they're both within 60 feet of me. So, deck save. Both of them. Okay. Ah, there you go. Dex for the first one. That's a six. Don't Dex they pass? the other one. It's not a half. Right. They, if they pass, they pass. No damage. Yeah, yeah. They, well, this, that's a this shame. bolt of acid just passes with like, That's a shame. It's literally the most I could have done with the acid. Anyway, that's... Uh, uh, hold on. Yeah, uh, Owl's going to fly up to this one on the left map facing and uh, fly by attack to give advantage, and then fly back over here. Okay. Hold on, let me just double check that I have the Owl's speed right. I think it's 90 flying? Uh, it is 60. I had it right. Okay, yeah. I thought maybe it was more, but it is 60. So That's I'm done. Yeah. And so you're done. Uh, Halpert, Apple Neckle. All right. Uh, clean shot. I will. Uh, whoops. Yeah, you got your choice of sneak attack options. Well, he can sneak attack, but he doesn't have advantage in the attack. Only right, if, he hit, if he hits, uh, he will. He can uh, call a sneak attack damage bonus. Yep. I love right. doing more damage to. Well, uh, against target. against this guy, you have advantage because the owl gave you advantage, correct? Yep. That's right. Okay. So I'm taking the shot against Ooh. that guy. Even better. Ooh. See, so yeah. whatever I get advantage, nobody needs it. Oh, well, not one. That's ten points. Yeah, no. They, they they're about they they're dropping their short bows, getting their short sword out to attack uh dra the dragonborn, and then like one opens mouth like ah, and the bolt comes right to the mouth. Oh, and it falls back dead. Hmm. That goblin is dead. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of wink at the turtle. But you're behind me, so I can't see it. Uh, yeah, okay, so... Uh, and you said it for this you can guy, feel right? It, though. You can feel the wink. Feel the wink. That's right up there with... I look at him as if to say... Wow. Yeah. The goblin boss uh, comes up with this one, and then uh, another guy shows up. So there's three. So let me see how far can they move up. Yeah, they can move up to not to attack, but uh, the gob the boss is gonna move it here. This guy's gonna move here. They're gonna here, and they're gonna fire arrows again at uh, at, at kicks. So the goblin boss moved, um, and what can you do? He throws a javelin. Uh, a kicks and he misses uh, and then the uh, the two arrow bolt the uh, arrow little arrows uh, short bolt first attack I believe that's a hit that was an arrow yep, boys that's a hit. And the second one Ooh, wow two hits six piercing followed by Seven. Seven. Oof. 
And this one takes his sword out. Uh, he drops his bow and he goes for the scimitar, the scimitar, mm-hmm. and whiffs it completely. <laughs> he just hits the tree next to him. Very good job. Okay, let me put it. The property go. go you know, all the goblins go first. Now kicks your it. All right. I think now is the time to use my bonus action for a second win. And I'm going to remember to actually add my level into this, which is two, not one anymore. Mm-hmm. Which will restore nine hit points, which is very much needed in this instance. After I've taken two of them to the chest, uh, I'll let out a roar and call it like, yes, this is the adversary's a true hero needs. And then I will breathe fire on the two next to me. Okay, so the goblin. Oh, he made it. Or half damage, I believe. Uh, yes, that's right. With the fire breath, it is half damage. They both made it. Okay. Uh, and then just to... Minus two points. So you cinched them. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, they're still okay. uh, worse for... They're not worse for wear. And I guess uh, I'll just go ahead and step over here as well, just into the fray. Yeah. Uh, Gar. Oh, it's what? Once every short rest? Correct. Right. Yeah. Uh, first off, Owl is going to move right here. Uh, mm-hmm. Eight action against the uh, Goblin boss. Let's see, that was 15, so 45 back. Yeah, I guess 35. I don't need to go there. I gotta mm-hmm. fly back again at some point anyway. Uh, and then me... As for me and mine, I guess acid splash again. Okay. So semi throws again. Ooh. From six matter. to one. It doesn't matter if they make the semi throw. You can't save lower than than one. Uh, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. It's not a half or it's. You... Uh, it's all nothing. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, gob gobble. He got the point. The boss. Now, in my defense, I did exactly one less damage than Kix did, so. Uh, Yeah, you see uh, the gobble by the boss. He's uh, he's shaking. He's really shaking. Uh, Halpert. All right, I'm going to uh, fire my... Fire my short bow at this one here. You know you have a banjo on the other one. Yeah, but do I have a straight shot for the other one? How good are you? Oh, this one. No, I mean the one in front of kicks. The boss. The you one have in front advantage of on the boss. Yeah, but you don't you don't have a straight shot there. No. Yeah, no, I don't have a clean his armor class goes up by two. Yeah, but advantage. Well I it cancels out because uh Ally characters do give coverage, so yeah. I don't know. That's a weird rule because it's only used sometimes. We'll be fighting in a hallway and Griff will shoot over somebody, and then it seems like this, where I don't know. It just seems right, weird. Well, I'm taking this guy out if okay. I can do so. I've got my uh, my sneak attack bonus. Oh, that's a hit, yeah. Eight points. All right. He's and out. then I'm going to use a bonus action to hide. Okay. Roll your uh, stealth. Move in stealth. Well, I guess you can move here under the tree and, and stealth. So roll your stealth for us. Relief. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Goblin boss. Goblin boss sees the two are dead and he starts yelling for these guys to move in. Uh, and he's gonna attack uh, with uh, ooh, very brave with scimitar, <laughs> and he misses. These two yeah. are like they drop their bows, and because the boss says so, he's gonna move into melee. Because why not? Bit of life advice: don't listen to your boss. <laughs> with this guy here, uh, they know they're what gonna say. For a scimitar attack, that's a miss. That's also a miss. 
Yep, just yeah. nothing but scale mail on the way. Yeah, goblins kicks. All right, that's right. I'll fight every single one of you, uh, and I will go ahead and claim the advantage against the boss for the first strike because I will mm -hmm. also be using action surge this turn for another strike. Uh, Eighteen. That's a hit. Hey, so the first strike is ten at the boss. Wow, that's a hit. Yeah. Uh, boss is probably still up, I assume, correct? Still, still up, but you know, you uh, really, you really wing him. You know, basically, he almost broke his arm with, with attacking with Simitar. You parried, hit him so hard, it's like. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, and as crazy. he's reeling, I will go ahead and wind up for a second slice at him, hoping to get him, and he just kind of ducks under. Too, yeah, yeah, he's two feet too short for that swing. Yeah, yeah, this would have worked if you were a proper sized opponent. <laughs> Uh, so Gar. All right, Howell comes back. Thirty-five, so twenty-five back for the eight action again on the boss. Oh yeah, your advantage actually works there, by the way. <laughs> and then I will acid splash the two minions beside. Four points. Okay. Or not minions, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um... That's a four e term. Uh, miss. So yeah, one of them so... takes four damage. Yeah, it's like it starts yelling and, and, and screaming like ah, because of course, though it's acid, still burns. It's like ah, ah. Albert Nickel, you're next. All right, this in here. Oh, well, you're hidden, so you have advantage. Which one do you hit? Uh, this one here. Okay. Uh, roll damage. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, this guy is gone. All yeah, right. you're straight up inside the rogue hide cycle now. It's very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I'm hiding. It. Oh. Hiding as long as they're not looking. Right. <laughs> Goblin boss, seeing that uh, his goblins are dying, he decides to disengage as a free action. Ooh, a nimble a escape. Guy. Yeah, goblin can take a disengage or hide action as a bonus action on each of its turns. So he disengages and I guess he can run for it at 60 feet. Yes. Yeah, Let's because see. he because he's doing it as a bonus action, he gets his mm -hmm. thirty feet, and then he can just move. So uh, he can he can just be out of there. Yeah, uh, yeah, he makes it all the way to the edge of the map. So, yep. Bye, move. goblin. Yeah. yeah. And, and then the he gets his minion left. And he's like, I only have three hit points. I'm not worth XP. I don't have very good loot. And he just yeah. disengages too. Yeah, he does the same thing. So, yeah, oh, the okay. boss and the other uh, goblin just run away. Once they hit the edge of the map, they're out of that combat. So. That's right. Fear kicks the shield. Yeah. And you see the boss kind of hitting the other goblin be be between the, be you know, <laughs> the back of the head. Well, yeah. we did it, everybody. Good work. You didn't die. So okay. yeah, you you slayed. Uh, let's let's put some tokens on these guys so I know that they're being defeated. They ran away. Uh, yeah, you defeated a a, a, a gaggle of goblins. Uh, so what are you gonna do now? Loot the bodies. Go Disneyland. <laughs> yep, and I will check out the tree over here as well because they were all hanging out here. So maybe their stuff is here. Yeah. Uh, basically, what they were doing here was they were just resting. They were just resting. Apparently, they were just hanging out here, right? Uh, taking the shade and and talking, right? Uh, maybe they were on patrol. They seem to have some rations with them, so they were apparently on patrol, perhaps. Scavenging yeah. or, or something. You can see there's a ruins here of a, of a what looks like a, a, a Tin Man. temple, a temple perhaps. They were having a, a temple? small shrine. A small shrine. So apparently they were trying to loot it or just using it as a, you know, as a navigation point. 
uh, roll for me uh, 3d4 times 2. Yeah, between oh, wow. all the goblins, that's what you find in basically in silver pieces. As well as their weapons, uh, which are scimitars and the armor and stuff like that. Okay. So, so 22 between a lot of us is 7 each and 1 remainder. Mm -hmm. uh, Gar, you, uh, what are you doing, Gar? Investigating. Okay, you see that statue? Uh, what seems to be this is again, as as Kick said, is a probably a burnt out small shrine of some sort. It looks like a, a knight, so it must be might be a, to a martial deity of some sort. Uh, Eleven on a history check, and mm -hmm. um, fifteen on a religion check because he threw out the word de uh, yeah. deity. Yeah, uh, Hieronius, uh, which is the uh, deity of knighthood and valor. Uh, I'm so messed up on Heronius because I played another campaign where he was an orc god. Huh. I mean, he was an orc yeah. god for honor and everything, but his avatar was an orc, so I just imagine him as an orc all the time. Now, this this is a human. Um, he's an Oridian god. Uh, and so, yeah, that seems to be... And the statue has scorch marks. Someone has attempted to hack at it, you know, so it's stiffly here. Not completely turned down, but it's, you know, actually is. Yeah, broken down, so the feet are still there, but the rest of the statue has been found. So this this happened a long time ago. Somebody somebody yeah. went to town on this little shrine. Given the amount of time that's passed, Kicks will kind of lull mend, but like half jokingly, it's like, ah, oh, my companion Heronius, they've done you foul, haven't they? <laughs> are you all right there, buddy? My companion? Oh, of course, he's the god of heroes, and what am I if not a hero? I don't know. What are you? A hero? No, if not. If not, then a dragon. So, so a dragon you are. So and no dragons are heroes? Is that what you're saying? Of course. Because if you're not a hero, you're a dragon, which means that the two are exclusive. So you're saying you're not a dragon. Well, if I'm a hero, then I guess I'm not a dragon. So by your logic, I'm still a hero. It's your logic. It's not my logic. I'm giving voice you to your ill-conceived thoughts. Today. I'm glad that I have a friend such as you who's willing to support me in my endeavors like this. I really uh, appreciate the compliment, Gar. Well, literally, who else, a great thing. who else would be behind you when you're taking a arrow to the face? Exactly. I need someone to witness it. Well, I can't witness it if you're hitting hit in the face and I'm behind you. <laughs> You'll see the wounds later. I can see the speaking wounds of, now. <laughs> speaking of, let's go ahead and set up our own camp, right, where these uh, little goblins were. And we'll go well, ahead and clear out the rest of the area. Well, if one were to assume that they were a patrol, that means that they must have a base of operations nearby. You don't patrol places where you're just leaving things out in the open, which means that there's more of them somewhere else nearby. Maybe we don't want to camp here. Also, this tree seems oddly scaled to me. I'm sorry, <laughs> just catching my attention. <laughs> it it is like a very, yeah, it's like a ten foot tree, but it's like at the very intersection. So it was properly placed here. I think. Well, no, no, I don't mean that. I just young. mean that it's like exactly the right proportion for a tree if it was whole. But the fact that this tree is so big it means that this is like a sapling oh, yeah. or something. But this exact tree, pro I don't. It's just standing out to me for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I feel you. I understand. So after gazing upon our tree, um, the d goblins definitely went south, it seems, right? Yes. Which is, in Which the is most where we're going to go anyway. In the most general direction, that's where the, the Orcish Empire is. So if, if, if goblins are going to come, they're usually going to come from the south. Right, but again, it just seems like they're nearby. They might be nearby. Well, I if, think we interrupted a picnic, guys. Well, if we're to believe that they're a patrol... Your patrols don't wander too far away from the area they're, you know, that they're deployed from. Because mm -hmm. there's a difference between a scouting party and a patrol. A scouting party will probably, you know, travel long distances. A patrol travels a set distance and returns. 
Well, we're a scouting party, and we travel a far distance. We're not a scouting party. We're an adventuring party. An adventuring uh, party will travel a long distance from where they're uh, set forth from. A scouting up, party... I think I have something in my backpack here. And I'll go ahead and... Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out a thesaurus. It is <laughs> brand new. <laughs> Hold up. I'll look at this. Ah, here we go. Right here. It is... Uh, a similar word. All right, I have a real quick question for you, Griff. With overlap. Griff, I have a real quick question for you. Does Kix actually have a thesaurus in his backpack? Yes, I have spent a gold on it now. Okay. So if it was Yo, imaginary, Kix, no, I have. It's a can, it's can I roll this and mag that out of his hand? <laughs> can, can I roll just to kind of grab that? I want to see it. It looks interesting. Oh yeah, you can just swipe it out of my hands. I would say, okay. if it was an yeah, imaginary right. book that you were pulling out just to, you know, just to spook... Just to mock you. Yeah, just to mock me. I would use an imaginary no. spell to set it on fire, but oh, you no. spent After... actual money on it, so I'm not going to do shit like that. Exactly. After you have... After interacting with you, Kicks came prepared. Well, what was your what was your actual argument there, then? Oh, they are, in fact, similar words. Similar words, yes. Same words, no. Correct. Same words have the same definition. Similar words do not have the same definition. That's why multiple words exist. To differentiate between other words. Uh, can I can I see that book again? I, I, they needed the dictionary part of it. Yes, very tautological of you. Indeed. <laughs> you defined exactly the thing that it was. While still being correct, as you, as always, remain not so. Still, they have flooded the area, and it is getting late. As we've already explored around, we do have to set up camp somewhere. Right, but goblins tend to be creatures of the dark. Whereas we, who camp during the night, tend not to be. So they will remain active, while we will remain sedentary. Then let them come at me. Come at me, bro. Right. <laughs> Truly the words of one whose gravestone speaks wonders about their prowess on the battlefield. It will be the greatest gravestone you've ever seen. No. I can't wait. I don't tend to hang around places with gravestones. <laughs> yeah, so I've yeah I know what you're looking at. <clears throat> wait, isn't so... your character? Shut up! <laughs> so, so right now, I would like to camp here. Gar, you were saying you don't want to. If we moved somewhere else... What would that look like? I'm giving a specific warning. I'm not saying I won't camp here. I'm just okay. pushing the matter to its logical conclusion and then sighing and camping here anyway. In that okay. case, uh, Halbert, uh, it yeah. pissed me on the watch. Actually, do you have perception as a skill? Sorry, what's that, Red? Uh, I'm I have perception. You have yes. perception. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, okay. yes, I have perception. Okay, so I why just want to put this out go there. Go ahead and take the watch. Real quick before we start you. taking jobs, um, uh, Nick, is Halpert good at telling stories? Yes, he was. Yeah, uh, yes, he is. He has a five to performance. Because I just want to mention that maybe getting advantage on a roll could be just as important as uh, spotting the incoming danger. Because <laughs> remember, remember, you can use that advantage on a death save. Uh, yeah, also remember that if you are have a good cook, you could probably get some bonuses. Uh, like, uh, for example, but not limited to, uh, you know, advantage on poison saves. Well, we don't have a good well. cook, so we can just negate yeah. that I one. I'm just sort of thinking that... Today, everyone. I'm just thinking that... It's Starkle. Somebody was giving us advantage or inspiration. Rather. Somebody was giving us inspiration before. Mm -hmm. So, right, we're just such a small group right now. We can't fill every role. Making the, the choice between a good watch and a possible inspiration is worth right. mentioning. Is all I'm saying. So mm -hmm. I will keep watch. Let's try some inspiration. Welcome to the roast of X. <laughs> oh boy. Nah, that's all right, Red. I'm not. No, go on. Jim. I'm. I want to hear this. <laughs> oh, I mean, honestly, I'd insult him, but it looks like the gods have already done so. Oh! oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
I'm gonna make that's my roll. Put up yeah, that uh, put up that that's gif enough. of the guy just like oh behind you as you just fall back. We're getting ambushed tonight. Okay. Uh, hmm, interesting. I'm gonna roll this. Whereas I crit my survival, we eat the best raw food you could find on the craft. Oh, it looks like one of those wagons from the hex behind us ran over a, a raccoon on the way out here. The tastiest Still, uh, bit of grass. So who's doing uh, the guard? I am. Who's, uh, no, uh, the one who rolled a nine. And I guess yeah. um, I will take a single uh, hit die roll. Also, is 12 enough to give us uh, inspiration? Uh... Well, did you cook the dinner? Yeah, a twelve uh, will give you inspiration. Yes. Yeah, hey. you don't get inspiration from cooking the food. No, by your own rules. Although oddly, yeah. this is the only time somebody can tell a story and inspire themselves in all of this D and D. Because I'm assuming that Halpert is inspired by his own story or his own roast of kicks. <laughs> I, in that that regard, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, kicks. Uh, you're uh, awoken. Uh, don't don't put this. Uh, the uh, well, you use a hit die, so yeah, that's just an hour. Uh, In my own defense, I've never used the inspiration that I got many month weeks ago. So no, uh, I, that actually inspiration rule means that it stays until you use it. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I never used the first time. Everybody's yeah, sleeping uh, and kicks you sort of again, sort of not off, and then you, you feel a sharp. He, uh, you know, you find a sharp object under your neck, and you wake, uh, okay. and somebody, somebody okay. put something in your mouth. Uh, okay. PG thirteen. You... <laughs> <laughs> As two goblins are, but uh, right beside you. What do you do? Uh oh. They, so, uh, they're in a position to coup de grace you by right now, so yeah. But they haven't. No, they haven't. Uh, so I'll just say very uh, quietly in common to indicate that I'm not trying to like make noise and wake people up. Well, you're back, so then what do you want? One of them they probably don't up. understand me. They basically go and they they take uh, like a small rope and they they basically muscle you, mm -hmm. and they push they push you to uh, to pull you to take you in this general direction. Okay, I'm being dragged away. Yeah, you're being dragged away. Um, now they now the situation is they wouldn't coup de grace you because you're you're up and uh, you know up and, and walking, but they would have advantage to attack you because basically they you know they had you up close and they're small, so mm -hmm. if you try to escape. I put it this way. If you try to escape, they get a free attack with advantage. And I can't use my fire breath. I don't have any weapons. My arms are tied. Quick kicks. Make the argument that you sleep standing up. <laughs> that way you can't get <laughs> well, advantage on Well, you could try it. to get away because they're goblins and they don't have the strength that you have, right? So you have some options. Uh, right. But they're trying quietly to drag you away as well. They don't want to wake up the others. Uh, clearly, there's just two goblins, so they can't take all of you at once. I want to say now, just in case it ever comes up, also probably a benefit for me not even hearing this going on, I sleep inside my shell. Okay, yeah. Okay. They probably see, think that you're a rock or something. So. so so, what I think I'd like to try to do is that uh, as they are trying to walk me away, uh, I'm kind of looking left and right for like a large bush to stumble mm -hmm. into. Okay, so let's say that they're Basically, walking... Basically, to take a complete fall. Uh, they're walking in this direction, so... There's a bush here. I, don't I mean, it says dark, but there's a moon out, so you can see. Well, I'm not going to just use yeah, this map. Yeah, like, there's a bush right there, like, where uh, he's standing. So, mm -hmm. trip and fall, like, straight into it. Like, oh. Make a deck shake. Let's see if that works, because I that is my worst thing. Whoa. Yeah, I successfully fall on my face. <laughs> they make an attack. They One of them is going to make an attack, just in case, with advantage. Uh, okay. Uh, I am not wearing armor nor have a shield. Ooh. I believe my AC right now is nine. I get you both at a time. So yeah, they cut you and ah and 
And they see how smart they are that you can keep themselves out of quiet or, or not. Yeah, they're, they're yeah, yeah, they 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 try to go and grab you crap for you, but uh uh Halper, Halpert and Gar can make wisdom checks. Uh you saw what I just said have... in the other chat, right? Let's see. I was saying that if I'm sleeping in my shell, I figure it's a matter of fairness and reality. I probably have disadvantage on any checks to receive because I'm everything's being okay. dampened by the shell and yeah. Uh, how about you? So you, you're a light sleeper. You wake up and and you have not you have sixty feet uh, of dark vision. So yeah, you see two goblins and you see some movement here in uh, in a bush, uh, and then you see the shell that is Gar just there. Hasn't moved. Uh, do I do? see? Do I see kicks? Uh, you see a, a, a bush sort of moving around. Maybe you see a tail or something. So maybe that's probably kicks. You have not not really sure because it's all. Well, if I see kicks, I'm going back to sleep. Yeah, but well, you see the goblins. <laughs> maybe you see a bush and a tail. And now you clearly right. see goblins. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm gonna reach over and I'm gonna knock on Gar's shell. Okay. Yeah, you go. Hey, now say hey. I got a crit fail there. <laughs> Do I, I even mean, hear not, that? I mean, somebody's checking your shell, and your shell is part of you. It's like somebody. It's like checking you awake. Yeah. That, hey, no. Hey, turtle boy. Turtle. Hey. Hey, hey, turtle. Turtle. Hey, goblins. Hey, turtle! I'm not resisting the goblins at present, by the way, until something yeah. happens. So I was yeah, going to see how long Halbert was going to go at this before I said anything. <laughs> what? Yeah, basically, yeah, you're waking up. Yeah, no, I said, I said what? And the goblins Goblin. here, Halbert, you're not doing it quietly, you're doing it. So goblins, like, they look back like, what? And they, they see you, they see Halbert, and they, they see you. The zoom into the, the head inside the shell where I'm just like staring off <laughs> like they see a shell, so they think it's more like a rock, and so they don't they see how people are like checking the rock and they're like, eh? So initiative everybody. Yeah, starting on the ground. <laughs> yeah, so they'll have advantage to attack you. They already do. <laughs> So advantage to attack you, plus you have, what, you said 9 AC? That's right, I'm not wearing any armor, nor have a shield. Then minus 1 dexterity. That's right. Ooh. You've adequately ascertained all of my negative qualities. <laughs> so Halpert, uh, you go first. The goblins are surprised, uh, essentially, by, by your noise and trying to move a rock, and they're completely puzzled, so what are you going to do? Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to take aim at that one, and I'm going to fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a hit. Yeah. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to hide. Oh, I'll hide behind the turtle. <laughs> hide behind the shell. <laughs> uh, Gar. You see one of them fall over? Shot in the back by uh, Halpert and his, with his crossbow. All right, I will fly by. Okay. Boom. Ooh, Three, five. Help. And then boom, this way to a tree. I move up. Claw attack. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. I need advantage <laughs> to work. Uh, you hit because they're not using, they were not using their shields in this moment. Roll two dice. Uh, the same. Yeah. Five damage. He's still there. Bloody, but still there. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm done. There's nothing else I can't do. Mm -hmm. Why am I... Why is this... Uh, why are you not uh, doing the thing? Ah. Which you went on the goblin? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm clicking. I'm clicking the, the token, but it's not doing anything. So let me let me okay. switch with this token then. It did five damage. Oh no, the zombie goblin. Some from the dead marched up here and replaced the other goblin. 
Yeah, so he's he's wounded, yeah. Let's put another goblin talk in here. Just to make sure. Say this is a guy that uh, that got taken out. That ran away. Okay. So he's wounded. Uh kicks. You have a chance right. to get up. There. The one goblin is dead in, in front of you. The other one is uh fighting with Gar. Getting okay. raped by Gar. Uh, I will go ahead and stand up. I will use my bonus action to use second wind. Mm -hmm. That's going to be six. Just make sure I don't suddenly die. Always a good idea. And then while my mouth is tied and my hands are tied, I'm going to turn around and swish my tail at it and try to give assistance to Gar. Okay. Or rather give assistance to whoever is going to attack him next. And that's my whole turn. And the goblin will disengage. He's going to run away. Mm -hmm. Into the night. Actually, can he make it all the way out? Let me see. Well, you also got to remember, I have 120 feet where they're shooting. Yeah, he's got to, like, run around the tree. Yeah, he's probably going to make it all the way here. Yeah. Yeah, 80 feet. <clears throat> all right. Well, let's see. But he is... 60 feet. If he's 60 feet away from you, actually, he is, oh, yeah, he's gone into the darkness. Actually, no, you can still see him. Guard, uh, actually, you can't kick Susan Ham night vision. Guard does, yep. though. So, helping it. You see, yep. All what right. Gonna I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that shot. Okay. Yeah, it's dead. Woohoo! Nice. <clears throat> so, Kix will turn around, look at you, and go, mm mm mm. Well, you're hungry? Mm. I like him better this way. Ha ha ha! Well, his hands are untied. Kix looks like I he's assume. about to try to cross his arms, but then realizes they're still tied up. Well, I think we should go back to bed. <laughs> mm. I'm he, going back to bed. Yeah, I mean, I said what would happen if we slept here, and it happened, so I'm going back to sleep. Yep. Kix will go over to his equipment, sit down next to his backpack, and, like, slowly fish out a knife and try to, like, free himself over the next hour, I suppose. Well, it seems like you should just, like, rub yourself up against a rock. That time old strategy. <laughs> now that we're surrounded by a wall of half broken rocks. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Kix will, Kix will spend his time trying to free himself now. It takes you about a good hour or so to get free your hands. And then from there, you can just sort of take the, the rope from your muscle, muscle and just like. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Apparently, they try to, well, kidnap you, but you got the better of them. Yup, for now. No, no, we got the better of them. Mm -hmm. So the rest... He uh, got kidnapped. Yeah, the... Kick snapped. <laughs> the morning comes, and uh, whatever wounds you have, you have not recovered because you're, 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 uh, you were interrupted in your sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, Problem with that, you... how many uh, uh, hit dice do you have left, uh, Kicks? Uh, I spent one. Do you have one left, then? Mm -hmm. That's right. Dice come back on a long rest, right? Correct. But you can Half spend you uh yeah. But you I can get... just short rest in second wind as much as I want. Right. Well, except for the fact that hit dice don't come back, but you still have the short rest for your one hit die. So right, good, good there. I guess I will uh, ask lessons the GM here. Uh, hey, does that check out? I can just second wind every hour. Mm, your hit yeah. dice don't come back. Is like, again, that's the problem. So you can you have one more long, uh, second wind of hit die remaining until yeah. you can long rest. Yeah, it can no, no, hit, die, yeah. hit die. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's no, it's it's a separate ability entirely. Yeah, no, I thought second wind gave you the ability to use your hit die. Oh, huh. Oh. Uh, well, let me. That's apparently wind. that checks out by my account. I don't know about the GM, but that's that's true. What you said is <laughs> true. 
you have limited well of stamina you can draw to protect yourself from harm on your turn. You can use a bonus action against hit points equal to 1d10 plus your fighter level. Once you use this feature, you must finish a short or long rest. Mm -hmm. You yeah. can use it again. So yep. every hour is a short rest. I think yeah. the problem here is it goes into the same area as a coffee lock, where if yeah. you can, it only matters if you're not resting for long periods of time, in which case fatigue sets in. Yeah. But right. one day isn't going to kill you, I don't think. I ideally, I would like to rest the night. So what did you roll on that allergy to, that allergy to? <laughs> Uh But if that checks out, I'll just regain two hit points, if that's okay. Boop. No, you can't penalize the fighter. He was prepared. <laughs> by the R-A-W. Alright, I think we just finished exploring this area, didn't we? Yes. Right, so As, aside from the goblins, you don't find anything of substance there. Right, so now it's our time to advance to here. <clears throat> uh, you find basically a, a river. Um, yep. So run your, your roll your um, investigation and survival. I don't know why I thought second wind used as well for a second. I'll be right back. I guess when you use stamina, yeah, you could do the thing where it's like, yeah, if you use it too much, you would have to make a. Um... Well, I know that's the uh, that's the entry level counter to the coffee lock before they get to third level or whatever mm -hmm. level they get um, invocations at. Mm -hmm. Is that if you're not falling asleep and you're not resting, fatigue because fatigue yeah. will lead to death. So it's the trade off. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like I said, one day isn't gonna, of no sleep isn't going to kill you, even if you're second window. <laughs> Yeah, but you would gain a, a fatigue, uh, a point of fatigue, which starts getting you hampering you. Right. That's, the, that's the thing about that's the thing about fatigue is like uh, it just it keeps piling on. Mm -hmm. Right, right. But it's, it's usually like long things like crossing a desert with no water, things like that. It's mm -hmm. not usually oh, you didn't sleep for a night, huh? Actually, yeah, fatigue. Uh, you uh, you can get a um, a level of fatigue just for not sleeping at night. That seems not crazy. not from being interrupted, just being interrupted that night is one thing. But say oh. I deliberately say I'm gonna, uh, for example, not sleep this night. We're gonna force march or something like that, or we're gonna stay awake. Oh, well, a force That's force enough. march is different from just. A, here's the thing: this is a power fantasy. DD is a power fantasy, right? I think yes. We all agree on that. If I oh, choose yeah. to stay awake for 24 hours, I'm not hampered. My character, who's a power fantasy, should not be hampered by things I'm not hampered by. <laughs> That is a level of weird escapism that's, like, yeah. weird. Okay, um, that's oh, fine, but if, we, we if we say the average cleric is in his mid-30s... I'm adding that level of exhaustion. Okay, that like, I know I'm in, the, in my 40s, my ass does not pull an all-nighter anymore. It does not happen. I don't Nick? care if I'm just sitting here playing with y'all. Nick, you're, like, four years older than me. I don't know where we're going with this. <laughs> I, I once did a uh, three-nighter uh, back in college. Uh, never again. Yeah, no, I've done that before on a, hey, yeah. let's all play an MMO together, and whoever falls oh, asleep yeah. last wins. That whole... I ended mine with a game of Twilight Imperium. That game lasted 12 hours. Ultima Online. Risk. But yeah, no, I'm just saying that 24 hours isn't enough to shut me down. I've done that and gone to work. So I'm mm -hmm. just saying that but my character here is supposed to be, you know... I'm willing to take the exhaustion, though. Power, badass, whatever. No, no, what I'm saying... Uh, yeah, I'm not saying that being interrupted... Uh, okay, let me explain this. If you get, if you have a long rest and the long rest is interrupted, the advantages of the long rest don't happen. If you spend the entire night without sleeping, period, or doing similar things, then you're going to get a, uh, penalties. And I'm saying that because you're using stamina, also that would be that, for example... You see, short rest, short rest, short rest to get all your, you know, every hour or so. Technically speaking, the short rest should recover you, but because the, the description says you're using your stamina, eventually you will get worn out. Like you just sort of like powering through, like I'm just gonna go, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Mm -hmm. And eventually, I would, I would say that after a day or so of trying to do multiple short rests just to get that that point. Twenty four hours of Goku powering up. Yeah, yeah, ideally, I shouldn't be spending 24 hours just trying to short rest my way through things. I should just take an eight hour rest and just sleep it off. <laughs> exactly. It is more efficient, actually. Yeah. Well, I was just pointing out that's how the coffee lock um, breaks the system. 
you get the but invocation case, that requires you don't have to sleep. <laughs> you just spent all the night getting spell slots. Mm-hmm. But in which case, I believe you're saying that right now Kix doesn't have exhaustion, right? No. You, okay. Your sleep wasn't I turned to the corrected. tracker, though. Yeah. But if you simply recover any ability says you're recovering because you have a long rest, you didn't have that long rest, yeah. therefore you don't recover that. Fortunately, everything I have is short rest right now. Which is nice. Now, if it, if it continues, <laughs> for example, you get attacked every single night. Oh, yeah. That then again, all. that you know, two or three nights of that is like, okay, you're not getting any rest whatsoever. Uh, the running theme of the campaign is everyone's trying to kidnap kicks. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get interrupted every night. We're putting someone else on watch. I need uh, to. So, I need to make get like a, a book or something where, like, on every page, I can write in another language. Like, hold on, give me ten minutes, so that <laughs> I can then cast comprehend languages. Like, flip through the book. You understand this one? You understand this one? You understand? Just come on, don't attack me yet. Do you understand this one? This one? This one? But yeah, you just, aside from the river, you don't find anything here. Okay. Generally right. speaking, past this particular river, you're getting deeper into what's it, this this area right here, from this river to this river right here, to what's called the uh, the border zone, mm-hmm. right? No man's land between. Yeah, uh, it's one of series of. Uh, this is part of the Jewel, Jewel River. Jewel uh, is in Jewel Jewel or Jewel isn't like the name Jewel. Like that, All right? Well, it's, actually, it's the same thing. Well, actually, I, I don't know same. why I said name Jewel. I meant like like energy Jewel. No, that would be oh, J U L E or J U E L. Yeah. We got a few thousand years left for that. Yeah. You, know, I, you don't know how rivers are named. Emperor Jewel so from back from this day. from this river all the way down to here uh, would be what it's. Uh, this is right here when the start of the uh, uh, shall orc we say the, the orc territory? Yeah. Is that a kidney? What? Is that a kidney, stomach? What is it? That looks like an organ, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, a, it's in the lake. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's like an Oregon, isn't it? Uh-huh. Y'all don't see it? Alright, whatever. I see, I, I see it. it. Yeah, I see it. Just can't think uh, of what it is. Is that a kitty? <laughs> anyway, where are you going next? Uh, I believe we're going to go ahead and... Well, we have uh, to camp, don't we? Yeah, that's right. We do that's it. why I just rolled my survival again for the camp. Okay, I will roll perception because I'm the best lookout and nothing bad yeah. ever happens. They yeah, haven't rolled above a 10. On your perceptions, <laughs> you could literally do better by just passively. Lessons. I'm gonna have to ask you. Can we go over some learning skills roles at some point? <laughs> well, you have to go to Narwhal for that. Yeah, but yeah. You yeah. Train yourself in perception. Yeah, I would love to discuss training at some point so I can actually do some different things. And and off. Uh, what's called? Um, one of the things you can do in. At least I'm gonna allow for this. Uh, the the DMG only allows for languages. But I'm going to allow for languages, tools, and non-combat skills. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking like uh, investigation, perception. Yeah. Those would be good things. Things that are trained, yeah. Specifically but things that you... I, I think yeah. the DMG says like it takes like two-thirds of a year, though. Not so to be like, that yeah. guy. Is perception not a combat skill? Specifically, but we have somebody that will always be around stealthing, and perception is the anti-stealth. Yeah, I think it would be investigation would be considered a non-combat. Skill. Yeah. Yeah. We can talk about that when the time comes, I think. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm terrible at count, but I'm still doing it anyway. Well, we have food. We bring nothing to the party. We have food, and uh, I bring it back to you all, because you're apparently just all out there. I can see everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, Kix misses this completely. Oh. Everyone else can roll a wisdom check. No. Oh. Halpernick and Halpernick and uh, you say wisdom check wisdom. is this part of a perception or just a wisdom check? I'm well. I'm asking you know, can my owl uh, advantage me? Uh, is your owl awake? The owl is a familiar. It never sleeps. Yeah, but are you sleeping inside your shell or not? Oh, you didn't say we were asleep or not. I assumed this was happening while everybody, like, while I'm cooking or while. Yeah, that, that's no, no, this, this, hap- this happened when you see. Oh, then this is, yeah, I guess technically you disadvantage just... then if we're following the old thing. So you're using both of them. 
then they cancel each other out. Well, yeah, but I'm not awake to tell my owl to do anything. My owl's yeah. around, but nothing's happening there. Yeah, you hear rustle outside um, um, your um, your shell, like somebody going around, you know, messing with a bag or something. Uh, what are you gonna do? Turtle with a bag. You know what? I'm gonna stay in my shell. Okay. Yeah. I would be, you know, thinking you know, I would be the best one to kidnap. Just a fucking shell. Only just pick you up and carry you, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, since I have disadvantage, how the hell would I know what's going on? <laughs> uh, after a while, you what? know, the, the noise just goes away. About an hour or so. Everybody also, else just slept through it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, if they had plastic bags and f- this fantasy times, it would be all the easiest way to kill me, too. <laughs> Put me in a plastic okay. bag at asphyxiate after a certain amount of time. Yeah, no plastic here. Uh, in the morning, you wake up and everybody roll me 1d4. Kidnapped three people in the night. Well, I said everybody, which I think this would be an amazing way to determine how many kobolds or goblins are around us. You how many limbs you've been have been taken? Kicked you or surrounded yeah, by three guys. Guards, you you have what you have some kind of uh, bag or something with you, like a large one that you don't carry inside your shell. Uh, well, yeah, because I carry my money inside my shell. I think everything mm-hmm. else is outside in a bag, because you know, literally, it, I don't have that broke. kind of. It's broken, and everything has been strewn out. I think I have like my... something like something was rummaging through it. I have and whatever whatever backpacks my... actually so. Are yeah. all of them broken open? A- anyone that has your food in it, <clears throat> like your rations. I don't have carry food. I uh, I survive all every time. Yeah, well, so I always... one of the... oh, actually, one no, of the... I do have. I do. Sorry, I do have rations because I took it from one of my dead companions. I won't. They're gone. Well, cool. I wasn't using them anyway. Yeah, but the bag is open and everything else has been thrown around, like tossed. Cool. Time to refill three. Four, three, three backpacks worth of stuff. How are you carrying all these backpacks? They're literally backpacks. One over one shoulder, one over the other shoulder, one over the neck. They're not that much weight of stuff. They're just backpacks. Yeah, but they're, you know, they're, you know, they're bulky, though. So, what, every time you go in combat... You're saying they're bulky, but they're not bulky if they don't have stuff. That's what I'm saying. It's not that much stuff. I just... it, it's like wrapping multiple plastic bags around you. It's, you know, you move around, the things are going to flop around. And you're, you're, so, yeah. you're making the argument here, which way is more a ton of feathers or a ton of iron. And it's like, they're way the same. Well, no, 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 I'm not talking about weight. Is, I'm saying I'm an empty backpack weight. isn't that big because there's nothing in it or on it. I think what you're thinking mean? of those giant, like, hiker backpacks, mm-hmm. which are literally just a shell if there's nothing in them, because there's nothing there. Yeah, They're not heavy but... or that bulky. So you put one instead of the other, and then you carry them. Yeah, because I literally, like, it's all tiny, apparently whoever I got this from, I can't remember who died and I got it from, I was carrying tiny things like tinder boxes and mess kits and a boar tusk. All well, tiny little well, things. Yeah, well, the the mess kit is a mess kit's that. like. I'm sorry, I can't. My push to talk, but I can't. <laughs> this big. Well, a modern one, yes, it is. Like the Boy Scouts, because I used to have one of those. It was like, yay big, because you put everything inside. I think the biggest thing I'm carrying is rope, because I had a couple of things of rope. Yeah. Otherwise, anyway, one of, one of your bags has been rummaged and 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 oh, and torn open. You know, so. You might have to. If you have a mending spell, you can fix it. Otherwise, nope. you'll have to. I know I brought that up before. Don't have yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> All this guy's like, mending is great. Theta goes, nah. Well, because cause you're thinking, like, hey, what's a household wizard going to do? And I'm thinking, well, what's a wizard that's out in the fields every day going to do? Fix the backpack. God, I wish I didn't phrase it that nope. way now that I said it out loud. <laughs> I didn't mean it to sound like that, but it's, you know, like, so what's a wizard that's out? No, I'm going to say it the same way. Because I'm thinking academically, when you're academically, you're out in the field, you're doing something, but saying household and out in the field means two different things if you're thinking in a different way. Yeah. It's a hole I can't dig myself out of. Oh, well, more ruffians, I suppose. You didn't lose anything, did you? I guess one bag, because I'm not going to fix it, and I'm also not going to bother carrying it around. 
Now when I, I have guess... three other bags to go to shit. I guess it's the benefit of living as hermetic as you do. I got like a, I'm a Matroshka doll of bags. You know, pull out a backpack, <laughs> to pull out another backpack, to pull out a pouch, to pull out a water skin. It's like, God damn. 